may... I feel like we may be getting off subject. I don't see why everyone's fussing over me. I don't even know why I'm here. You were assaulted and taken hostage by a... man in a rhinoceros costume. I think stress counseling is more than appropriate. That ruffian. Maybe those people would quit acting out if the newspapers May, would... you're deflecting. Let's forget about costumes and masks and just talk about Peter. Oh, all right. It's just that he's been acting so strange lately. Well, how so? Well... Aunt May? What in heaven's name are you doing up there? That's, that's a, it's, it's a really funny story. I, you know, like, uh, is, is that, is that new? Huh? Oh, well, uh, uh, so, like, last summer, and, and, it was just, you know, um, how about, how about I just come down, and we can talk, and I'll just, I'll just get some, some, some coffee, and just wait three, three seconds? Yeah. Give me, like, three seconds. And he quit wearing his glasses. He doesn't study. I think there's a girl involved. Well, have you talked to your nephew about these changes? No. I don't know. I just worked myself into such a state that when I confront him, I push him away. Just like his father, like Ben. And after the incident last week, I can barely face him. So you will never guess what I saw on the subway on the way here? Care to explain why you weren't in school today? I, I was no just... more fibs, young man. There was an incident in your school district. They had to evacuate it. I ran out of work without even telling my boss. I drove like a lunatic. Really? I, I was just... Give me your bag. What? No. Peter, this is not the first time that I've had to sit around and worry about you. I just want to know what you're doing when you're not in school. It's... It's the last book Mama read. The public library had a copy and... That's where I've been all day. I really didn't mean to worry you, I, I didn't, I... It's just, I'm ahead in all my classes, I, I just thought... I should have trusted you. I'm sorry. I love you, Peter. I love you too, I think. A book. A book. I yelled at him for reading a book. May, I'm sure he understands it. doesn't it. matter. Either I push him away or I let him in and he ends up just like... Letting people in is always scary, May. The idea of losing another person after a life filled with so much loss is crippling. But you're allowing that fear to turn to anger toward those you don't understand. You see a mask and you respond with mistrust and hate, believing those emotions will keep you safe. But you're closing yourself off to the world and to your nephew. Don't let fear drive a wedge between you, man.
One sec. How was work? Uh, it was work. What about school? Also work. What is it's that? Just guy on the sub. It's, it's no big deal. It's really, it's not big deal. Hey, I was thinking, would you like to go to a show tonight? I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Pete. And me and Harry, we're going to meet up and do something. Pete, would you like to take me out to a show tonight? Go out with your old aunt? That's not fair. You, you can't use the face. You, you can't. <clears throat> Fine. Just let me grab my jacket real quick, okay? Like three seconds. I just don't understand why it has to be so violent. Hey, Pete. I knew it was a girl. It's really not like she's. Hey, it's it's she's just. I. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm so. Peter, where on earth are you going? I ground him, but he would just sneak off. Tell me about it. You need a steel cage to make Petey stay still. I just hope he's not getting into any trouble. Something tells me... He'll be just fine. 